Hi, welcome back to Daydreams of Quilts. So we're here for day two of our bench pillow for Canada Day and I'm ready to get started on putting down the applique pieces onto the pillow top. Okay, so once you've got all of your applique pieces cut out, you're going to want to carefully peel back the paper on the back so that uh, just the shiny fusible is there and get everything laid out on your pillow top the way you want it and you can refer to the pattern cover right here to see where everything goes and then once you've got everything in the right position you're going to fuse it down with uh, steam on your iron this time so I'm going to peel all the paper off of all of mine and then I will come back and steam them down okay so I think I have everything where I want it so I'm going to steam and press and just check your edges with your fingernails to see if they're coming up at all and go over them again if you think you might need a little bit of extra on there Okay, and then I'll do these little flags. Okay, and while I'm at it, I'm going to just do the little pinwheels um, the little squares for the pinwheels while I've got the iron going. So I'll just um, peel the paper off the back and put these two pieces wrong sides together with that fusible in between. And same with this other set. Sometimes it's tricky getting that paper going. There we go. Okay, so those are ready to go for when we get to the pinwheels. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our lines traced down on here for the embroidery. Okay, so we need a water-soluble marking pen, and um, this one is a clover pen. Um, then we're going to take our pattern piece and put it underneath our fabric. And if you look at the front pattern piece, pattern photo, you can see that the words kind of go around this maple leaf here. So I'll just get that a little closer there and make sure that it's straight and I will start tracing this and I'll trace this whole embroidery part and then I'll come back and I'll show you if you're not sure how to do a back stitch, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Okay, so in the pattern, Kim tells us to use a uh, black thread, but I'm gonna use brown because I've got tan in my fabrics and I'm using this brown rickrack to go across the top of my uh, pennant string here. So um, Kim also says in the pattern to use a bit of glue to hold this in place and I think that's a great idea. I think I'm going to do that before I go to stitch this down. But just to get started on the embroidery part of this, I've got all my words written out, traced out, and I'm just going to separate two strands 
off of this embroidery thread so that I've got four left and I'll keep these two to combine with another two later. And then we're just gonna thread this onto our needle and put a little knot at the other end. And we'll just start, I guess I'll start at the beginning of the phrase. So the first stitch is gonna be just like any normal stitch. Come up and then come down. And pull your thread, oh, I'm caught. Pull your thread all the way through. And then the next stitch, we come up ahead And then we come back to the first stitch. And we just keep doing that until we run out of out of thread. We come up ahead. And then come back down where the last stitch went down. And that's the back stitch. All it is is just basically going back to the stitch you had before. This is, I think, the probably the simplest embroidery stitch. So you just keep going until you have all your words filled out. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to stitch down my brown rickrack along the top of my flags. And then we'll be ready to do our little pinwheel embellishment. Actually, no, then we'll, we will quilt it and then we'll do our pinwheels over here. So our next video will be uh, quilting this whole quilt top and then adding our pinwheels with their little rickrack stems over here on this side. Okay, happy stitching!